Hey everybody, how are you? Thank you guys for all your support, all your wonderful comments. I really appreciate it. Um, never knew it was going to be taken that well. I had a few questions asked by um, some of you about how to keep the rust on your model after you put it on. Um, first of all, yes, you do this after you put your finish on. You can do it. However, I got to thinking about Dr. Salt, Dr. Cranky's salting method. You could probably do this and then paint it and scrape it up, scrape the paint off, and it would look the same. So I'm going to give that a shot later this week when hopefully it warms up because it's a balmy 30-something degrees around here lately. And um, the other question was how to keep it on. Well. I've only used water. I've never put anything else on it, but I'm sure that you could use uh, a matte medium, whether it be flat or not, or you could use um, a clear. You could use gloss if you want it to look wet, or you could use flat if you want it to look bone dry, or you could use semi-gloss for in between. So. Um, those are all the questions that I can think of. I know that Chopper had, Chopper's models had a couple more questions, but my phone was messed up. I didn't get the whole message. I'm sorry, Chopper. Uh, I really appreciate all your questions that everybody had. Um, but yeah, I've never had any problem with it coming off with just spraying water back over it once I do it. So that would, that's about it. Another thing I wanted to cover, and I forgot to cover in the video, was rust. Now, this is real rust. This is not something I made. Um, came, it came out of one second. It came out of this pipe. If you know anybody that's got some old pipe laying around, or you've got old pipe laying around, Take it outside, because your wife won't appreciate you doing it inside, and bang it on the cement, bang it on a rock, do whatever. And this came out of double this. This is a piece of pipe I had cut in half to make a stand to hold my models to paint them. But anyway, um, yeah, this is real rust. Works awesome. Works, works terrific. You can put it in water. You can put it in. You can just flake it on. You can do whatever you want to. And in keeping with rust, you can make your own. This is a little bottle that I have, a little jar. If the cameraman can get, if, I hope you guys can see that okay. Um, that's the bottom of a jar that I drained everything out of earlier today because I was hoping that it would dry out and it didn't. This is the jar that I made the rest in and I'd say there's probably a quarter to a half an inch of rust in the bottom of that. The jar's rusty so but right here is the rest line. And um, you make it yourself. You put, I got this offline. I don't remember the guy's name, but whoever it was, I appreciate it. I'm not trying to steal your, your thunder. Um, anyway, you take, I just used this pickle jar and I filled the water till it was over the um, SOS pad. Or it, actually, I'm sorry, it's um, steel wool. And, uh, then I put in five tablespoons of bleach and five tablespoons of vinegar. And believe it or not, as soon as you do that, it starts to rust. So I left it in there for about three days, got what I wanted out of it. Um, you can leave it in there as long as you want. And I've been told that the whole thing will dissolve or pretty much dissolve. And just because it become a big pile of rust in there. So it just depends on how much you want. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on today, well, another thing is I'm going to change the Psycho Fish Customs here in a couple of weeks, but I want you guys to get used to me being on and having my channel. Dr. Cranky and I and Detroit Muscle and a couple other people have, have talked about safety in, in the last little bit. And um, these, are my, these are my replacement pads. But this fellow right here is my reminder of of why I wear my mask all the time. Um, this is what you can look like. 
And as funny as it may seem and sound, um, safety is a very serious issue. We, uh, I, I shouldn't say we, but uh, a few years ago I lost a guy that I had corresponded with um, in the model railroading community because of non-safety issues. So, um, these things are not expensive. You can, well, it depends on where you go, but you can go to Lowe's, you can go to uh, Home Depot, you can get them online. And the cheapest place online that I've found them is TCP Global, which is a name that uh, Chevy che Cheeseburger throws out there about his paint. Good, good call, because that's where I get mine. They're 20 bucks, okay? They're 20 bucks for the, for the mask. These came with the mask, so you have an extra set. I've had that set in for about six months. I still don't smell paint or anything. One's for left, one's for the right, obviously. But five more pair is $17. And I don't think that $37 total is a big cost to keep your health from going down the drain really fast. The stuff that we mess with, if, if you're using, get out of there. If you're using urethane lacquer or urethane enamel, if you're not using acrylics, and even with acrylics, you need to be careful. Even with waterborne stuff, you need to be careful. But especially with the lacquer-based and the urethanes, that's a lot of chemicals. That's a lot of nasty stuff. You're talking stuff that's poisonous. So you really, really need to, to listen about safety. Um, you know, I, I know that it's brought up a lot, and it probably seems, especially to young guys, like we're harping on it, that we want you guys to be around for a long time to enjoy the community. And um, it's just something not to take lightly. And I, I know that every now and then on the... On the videos, somebody will use something and say, well, I should be using my mask. And they are. They should be. They're right. Um, but I appreciate the fact that, especially Dr. Cranky's been shooting videos lately and voicing over so he can wear his mask when he paints, especially with the nail polish. That's, that's another, another one that's, that'll get you. Anything, anytime that you can smell anything, you know it's not good. So I'll quit, I'll quit harping, but... Seriously, it, it, it's, it's something you need to really think about. So, that's it for now. Uh, I appreciate all your support again, you guys. I, I can't thank you enough. I was hoping the video would be well received, but I did not expect it to be as re well received as it was. So, um, it humbles me, seriously, to, uh, to think you guys appreciated it that much. So, for now, I'm signing off. And um, you guys have a great night. I probably will make another video tonight. And hopefully you guys will get to see these tomorrow. Y'all take care. Bye.